This is what our oboe looks like. Um, we have a nice spot for our reed. Um, we have the lower joint and the upper joint and then our bell. And today I will show you guys how to put this together. So what's really important to note about the oboe is that we have a double reed right here. And what's different about this kind of reed instead of um, the reeds on our clarinets and our saxophones is there's actually two reeds together. It's kind of hard to see um, on this camera, but there are two reeds put together. And when you put it in, um, you don't really need something to hold it to create the vibrations, um, to create the resistance. The resistance is all in itself. So it sounds something like this. That's kind of what our oboe reed sounds like, and we will put that on at the end. So what we're first going to do is we're going to take our lower joint, which has all of these buttons on this side, and we're going to connect it to our upper joint. So be sure that you keep that you put cork grease on your cork. What we're going to do is we're going to hold adjacent pieces together, and we're going to put this together. Now what you really want to make sure of is this little lever right here, that these two parts line up. Um, without that, some of the lower buttons won't work. And then lastly, what we are going to do is we're going to put on our bell. And the same thing here, we have this, um, this little lever right here, and we have to make sure that we line it up with our friend holding adjacent pieces together, next, together and that we line up our friends just like that, so that these two pieces right here are giving each other nice a nice big hug. And then we close our case and we put it off to the side. And then all we have to do now is take our double reed and put it right in the top. And now I will show you what the oboe sounds like. This is number 20 on page 27, America the Beautiful. And this is what our oboe sounds like. <laughs> 